everyone, my name is Samandeep Cargill, and today I will be speaking about my internship at the Central California Asthma Collaborative, also known as CCAC. Uh, I'm a student of public health. I am a graduate student, uh, about two weeks away from graduation from the Master's of Public Health program, and my internship took place in the spring 2020 semester. So just a brief overview of CCAC. My preceptor was Tim Tyner, who is the co-founder of CCAC. Uh, CCAC is located about a mile away from the Yosemite International Airport in Fresno, California. CCAC is a nonprofit organization which works to address inequities in healthcare related to asthma education and treatment. Uh, so basically, they provide asthma education and they help develop policies that may better the lives of asthma patients. The goal is to address healthcare policy, which may affect the lives of the residents living in pollution dense communities in Fresno and other neighboring communities. My internship responsibilities were mainly on the administrative side, um, since I wish to pursue a career in healthcare administration, sp specifically in nursing home administration, I chose to learn the administrative aspect of CCAC. So my main responsibility was helping to transform all hard copy and paper forms into an electronic database through Google Forms. So any paper products that we had, my job was to transform it, everything into Google Forms and make sure every form was tied to the patient's case number. Um, my uh, other responsibilities included conducting literature reviews on asthma studies, uh, the California State Assembly bills and Senate bills and even examining the governor's executive orders. Uh, I also conducted scientific research on analyzing the impact of uh, pollution particles on human health, such as the PM 2.5. Um, I also had the opportunity to attend the California Energy Commission meeting that took place at the state capitol, which basically spoke about the budget that California state must adhere to so that we can transform all of our heavy duty trucks and diesel polluting vehicles into electric vehicles or hybrid vehicles or zero emission vehicles or close to zero emission vehicles. Um, another responsibility I had, I had was whenever I was in meetings with my preceptor, um, I would be taking notes so that we can go back at the end of the meeting and analyze what, what it is that we needed to do so to ensure that everything was running smoothly at the facility. I mainly worked on the asthma impact model, also known as AIM, but I also had a little bit of, I also gained a little bit, a little bit of knowledge with the California Assembly Bill 617 and the Clean Vehicle Rebate Program. So the asthma impact model, also known as AIM, it's a multi-component model which was utilized to provide uh, asthma education to those suffering from asthma. Um, age ranges were kids, teens, adults, and even the elderly. Uh, so the asthma impact model, it's mainly carried out by the community health workers who went to homes and conducted environment home assessments to recognize any asthma triggers and to help reduce asthma triggers. They provide resources and contact information of professionals that may help in um, removing any pest infestation or making sure that carpets were pulled out so that there were no particles that may trigger asthma symptoms in any of the patients. Um, the community health workers, they helped with asthma education and they also provided uh, education to bilingual parents or who didn't, whose first language wasn't English. So there was uh, some translation help that was provided to all the patients on control of medication, rescue medication. Um, so just a little insight of control of medication it is like a, nebul a nebulizer treatment that may be given to patients when they go to doctor's offices or ERs and the rescue medication are little inhalers that the kids or anyone for that matter can carry with them so that if they feel an asthma attack coming or they feel um, if they feel any symptoms 
coming on, they can quickly take the rescue medication and it will calm down the symptoms. Um, the community health workers, they also uh, supported patients by facilitating physician visits. If physicians were not able to accommodate these patients, um, the community health workers, they would assist in making sure that the patients had their, had their regular visits. Um, so the whole point was to try to reduce ER visits. California State Assembly Bill 617. This bill requires the California Air Resources Board and other county air districts to develop plans that will assist in better reporting of emission levels in disadvantaged communities. Uh, one such move is taking place in South Central Fresno that is still under wraps. It's, I mean, it's still in the works of it, so it hasn't really taken off, but we have a lot of push in Fresno. Our, high, our highways 99, 41, 180, and 168, these are major routes uh, for, heavy, for our heavy duty trucks and high diesel uh, vehicles, which contributes to high vehicle emissions and PM2.5 PM particles releasing into the air. That's why a lot of our valley residents, they have high rates of asthma. Lastly, the Clean Vehicle Rebate Program. So this is a statewide program that promotes the adoption of clean vehicles or zero emission vehicles or even hybrid vehicles. So if an individual were interested in adopting a clean vehicle, they would be able to get up to $7,000 in rebates. All they had to do would, um, all they had to do was turn in their gas vehicle or diesel vehicle and they may be able to get $7,000 in rebate so that they can buy a clean vehicle. This was an effort to reduce vehicle emission and greenhouse gas emissions in California, since California is a leading environmental leadership program in the entire United States. So a few lessons I learned was how to better my oral communication and even my written communication. Mainly my oral, since I have a hard time with public speaking, I learned from my preceptor and other leaders within the office of how a leader actually carries himself, how they speak in such a dignified manner. Um, I also had an opportunity with um, grant writing, me and a couple of other students in my cohort, we assisted in grant writing for CCAC. And also policy development, I did have an opportunity to meet with the California Air Resources Board Director and also some staff from the California Energy Commission. And we learned and we talked a little bit about how policies they form and how they take off and how it will better affect the residents in the residents of California, basically. And these are my references.